guys, welcome back to another video at Exaso Fitness. Got another great one for you today. You know what to do. Right there, subscribe, turn on the post notifications. But before we continue, I want to wish you a happy, merry Christmas Eve. Hopefully you're staying inspired, motivated, spending time with your family, with the ones you love, eating a lot of food, and having fun. We've got another great video for you. This one's going to be a short one, but I promise you 25 videos. So this is the 24th video of the month. It's going to be a fitness video, so stay tuned to find out what it is. So, real quick guys, I'm gonna to explain to you what I'm gonna to do today, what I usually do, and what and how you can do it. So usually I get either a one, one and a half to two mile run every single day at the gym before every workout. So either one and a half miles or two miles, depending on the time frame. Sometimes the timing could be a bit short just because we have a, I really have a busy morning a lot of times and so I don't do two miles 1.5, usually it's between 1.5 and 2 miles. No less than that, guys. Uh, I think that's the perfect point. It doesn't take too much time on the treadmill, but it's also not too short. So, I recommend you to do that. That's what I do. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two ab exercises, two ab workouts. Just because we only got about an hour left after running the one and a half mile. And then, after the ab workout, the two exercises that I mentioned to you, I'm going to do a bicep, that's pretty much it for today. So I'm going to show you those two exercises that I'm going to do and then we'll be done for the day. As I said, it's a short video, but hopefully you still enjoy it, hopefully you like it um, as we are getting closer to the 25 days of uh, video drop for this month. So today and tomorrow will be the last one, then we'll take a break until the new year. But enjoy this one and hopefully you learn a lot and you stay inspired to get fit. So let's get started guys. This is how we're going to start. First, what I'm gonna do is, you see those bars right there? I'm gonna do hanging leg raises, three sets of 10 for the video, but I usually do the workout five, not five, 10 sets to 10. That's my normal workout, but for the video, we're doing three sets to 10 of those, and then we're doing three sets of regular ab curls. Okay, so check it out. This is how you do it. Go up right here, grab yourself from here. Now I know it makes it hard, but in reality it's not that hard. Woo! So that's three sets of 10 reps 
for hanging leg raise ab exercises. Like I said, I recommend 10 sets of 10 if you're at an advanced level. If you're not, start with three sets of 10 or even one set of 10. But the point is that you get that done. So that's it for the workout. You may think, oh, that looks easy. But that's because we're only doing three sets. As I'm saying to you, and I'm mentioning to you, if you do 10 sets of 10, then you're not gonna think it's easy, okay? And then you're gonna be in pain, then you're gonna be struggling, then you're gonna be saying, oh, mama mia, this hurts, this burns. And that's what I want you to do. Feel the burn, guys, feel the burn. So 10 sets of 10 reps of hanging leg raises and regular military curls. We only did three for the video, but you gotta do more, guys, so. So the next one I'm gonna do, not quite sure how, the, what this one is called, to be honest, but what I'm doing is a drop set, starting from 100 all the way down to 10, and we're doing 10 sets of 10 each. So 100, we're doing 10 reps. So we start from 100, we do 10, and we go on until we hit 10. So in total, you're doing 10 times 10 times 10, you're doing 100 times, 100 reps. Okay, so we're starting with 100. Comment below guys if you know what this exact workout is called because I forgot. It's not coming across my, my mind, but I just know it's a really good workout with your biceps. So now we're gonna eat. Comment below guys if you know what this Now we got 60. Forty more. 
Now we got 40 minutes. I always recommend you to do a drop set is better because the very first set you do is going to be the heaviest one and then as you keep going down you keep building the muscle because you keep repeating doing repetition 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 even though it's lighter weight but you're repeating more often you're able to do it the right way have the right form when you pull up or pull down or whatever work are you doing. So we're done with that. And last work I'm gonna show you one simple leg exercise you can do. Just by doing this work, if you do it 10 times, your legs are gonna burn. You're gonna see your chicken legs start to grow. So check it out. You grab a 25 pound dumbbell on each side. Okay, put it on your shoulder like this. One, oh, shoot, two. I know it's gonna hurt a little bit, but put, put it in a way that you feel comfortable. And then you go down. One, two, three, go all the way down. Four, 